We all aspire to one day move into our dream home, and for a lot of people, that idea seems far out of reach. With so many forced to rent small rooms or who can't even have a roof above their heads at all, it seems unbelievable that there are thousands of homes that have been left completely unoccupied. This is like candy for me, gold. <laughs> it's so cool. From stunning castles to gigantic mansions, it's time to look at the 15 most incredible abandoned homes in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Linwood Hall. Linwood Hall was designed towards the end of the 19th century by Horace Trumbauer as the main Philadelphia residence for the successful industrialist Peter Whittiner. Built in a T-shaped design, it has 110 rooms, which includes 55 bedrooms, an art gallery, a 1,000 guest capacity ballroom, a swimming pool, multiple cellars, and even its own power plant. The original owner died in 1915, however, and his heirs had previously lost their lives in the Titanic disaster. The neoclassical hall changed hands several times over the next few decades, even being used as a training ground for military dogs during the Second World War, before falling into a state of disrepair. While most of the original fittings are still in place, serious renovation work is now needed. There have been no permanent residents since the 1950s, which seems like a tragic waste of the building. It was on the market in 2019 for a price of just $11 million, but according to some estimates, it would require a further $50 million just to restore it to a habitable condition. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. This image was sent to us by one of our viewers in Spain, and it shows a mysterious home that has lain abandoned for more than 50 years off the coast of the town of Cadiz. The only way to reach it from the mainland is across a causeway that's only revealed during low tide. And these days, the only permanent residents are a community of seabirds. It's not entirely clear why this place has been left like this, but locally there are several legends about its last owner. Apparently, they were convinced the house was haunted, and one night ran for their lives when a malicious spirit, thought to be that of a sailor who died centuries ago when his boat crashed on the rocks, began to torment them. Would you want to live in a place like this? Would you be able to cope with the isolation and constant noise of the waves breaking on the walls? Comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let us keep things moving. Number 14. Halcyon Hall Bennett College was an all-girls private school that opened in Irvington, New York in 1890, and for almost a century, it was where the daughters of wealthy aristocrats were sent to be educated. It was relocated to the village of Millbrook in 1907, where it was set in a 22-acre plot centered around Halcyon Hall, which had originally been built as a hotel. The 200-room building has 500 floors and two basements and had a chapel, dorm rooms, stables, and an outdoor theater. The school began to struggle financially in the 1970s, however, and in a last attempt to upgrade facilities, they built a science center at the hall along with various other upgrades. This plunged the institution into further difficulties, however, and it was forced to close in 1978. Since then, despite various attempts to refit and reopen Halcyon Hall, it has remained empty. The lack of maintenance means that the building is no longer fit for purpose with extensive water damage, a collapsed roof, Roof, and even trees that have begun to grow through it. There are now plans to tear it down and start again on the site, but so far work has yet to begin. Number 13. Carlton Villa Designed by renowned architect William Miller in the 1890s, Carlton Villa was initially planned as a summer residence for William O. Wyckenhoff, who became extremely wealthy after introducing a new design of typewriter to the world. Covering an area of 15,000 square feet on Carlton Island in New York, it had 11 bedrooms and was ideal for entertaining a large number of guests. 
Tragedy struck, however, when Wyckoff's wife died just a month before moving in, and he himself suffered from a fatal heart attack on his first night in the home. It was inherited by his son, who was forced to sell it to General Electric during the Great Depression to cover his spiraling debts, and they intended to use it as a corporate retreat. These ideas never came to pass, though, with the advent of the Second World War, and the stunning structure was left to crumble. The windows and doors were removed to provide supplies for the war effort, and this left the interior subject to natural forces, which resulted in the collapse of the main tower and the deterioration of its foundation. The villa still stands, though, having had no one stay there for more than 90 years, and it's still on the market if you're looking for a fixer-upper. Number 12. Chateau Miranda Work first started on the construction of Chateau Miranda in 1866, but it would only be by 1907 that it was completed with the installation of the clock tower. It's a neo-Gothic castle in the Belgian Tower of Celis, and was the primary residence of the wealthy Lidekirk de Beaufort family. They and their descendants lived there until the 1950s, when it was then sold to the National Railway Company of Belgium, who refitted it as an orphanage and a holiday camp for unwell children. Which led to locals somewhat cruelly naming it the Chateau de Noisy. It was used in this way well into the 1970s, but amongst spiraling costs, simply to maintain the structure, there was no choice but to close it down. Attempts were made over the following decades to secure the funding to renovate the building, but all offers fell flat. Following a fire that broke out after some vandals broke in, the chateau fell into a terrible state of disrepair, and by 2017 had been entirely demolished, with offers now being made for its replacement. Number 11. Villa de Vecchi Lake Como, in the Lombardy region of Italy, has long been one of the most sought-after locations in the world, a magnet for the super-wealthy. Its shores are lined with mansions, exclusive hotels, and a burgeoning tourism industry. But there's one place that remains silent, Villa de Vecchi. Built in the 1850s, it was associated with a series of deaths and mysteries soon after it opened. The wife of the owner was gruesomely murdered there, and he killed himself in the property within a matter of months after failing to find his missing daughter. One year an avalanche fell across the region and destroyed everything apart from this one building, which soon led to superstitions about the place arising, and it became known as the Haunted Mansion. Set in 13,000 acres of land, no one has officially stayed there since the 1950s, and the lack of maintenance means that it's now crumbling to its foundation. This hasn't stopped it from being a popular site for urban explorers, however, as well as those hoping to find out once and for all if this place truly is haunted by spirits. Number 10. Elda Castle In 1929, the co-founder of Abercrombie and Fitch, Davis Thomas Abercrombie felt he needed a stately home in the New York area. So had Elda Castle built. Covering an area of 4,337 square feet, it has four bedrooms, 49.6 acres of stunning land that looks out across the Hudson River, and a number of glorious features like an open patio with a fireplace and a cast iron spiral staircase that leads to a tower. Sadly, the couple went through some tough times, which saw two of their children dying, and the castle became a retreat for the remaining family. Since the Abercrombies themselves died, the castle has remained empty, and the surrounding trees have begun to grow around it. It's now actually up for sale, although at a price of many millions, with many more required to lift it to modern-day standards, buyers are understandably proving to be difficult to find. The windows are all gone, and even most of the floorboards have worn away. It still retains its gothic charm, though, and perhaps someone will, one day, come forward to bring it back to life. Number 9. Windcliffe Castle Set in the hamlet of Rhinecliffe, which is along the Hudson River, Windcliffe Castle was built in 1853 as a retreat and summer residence for a New York socialite. Surrounded by 80 acres of pristine land, you can just imagine the parties that must have once been held here. And it has been in such high regard that, after the death of the original owner, it was passed between subsequent members of high society. It's thought that this building was the origin of the phrase, keep up, 
with the Joneses, and you can see why. All of their neighbors must have been extremely jealous and would have felt the need to go out of their way to upgrade their own properties to fit alongside it. The last time anyone's known to have lived there, however, was in the 1950s, and after selling off most of the land to property developers, the once magnificent structure is now in ruins. It's now surrounded by security fences after someone bought it for $120,000 in 2016 and the intent is to demolish what remains to replace it with a modern design. As of yet, though, the shell of the castle still remains. Number 8. Louis Family House the Louis Family House in Taiwan was recently voted to be the nation's most haunted building. And the more you hear about it, the clearer you'll see why. It's in the countryside near the city of Chiai, and would once have been an ideal three-story family home. But for some reason, the Louis abandoned it during the 1950s. There are two main theories why they did this. The first being that the master had an affair with one of the maids who became so ashamed of the act that she threw herself into the well. Her spirit was believed to have returned to haunt the family every night, and they had no choice to flee. An alternative narrative suggests that during the Second World War, a regiment of Japanese soldiers were stationed there. One morning, in the mist, one of the soldiers saw an enemy and began shooting. This woke the others up, and they joined in the fight. By the time the mist cleared, it transpired that they had all killed each other and that their spirits now haunt the grounds. With trees sprawled across the entire building, this house certainly lives up to what you'd imagine a haunted place to be like. And from fear of the retribution that might be handed out to them, no one has ever slept a night in the structure since the family ran away. Number 7. Casa Sperimental Casa Sperimental can be found in the town of Regine in Italy. And rather than being an ancient, abandoned property, it has surprisingly modern design features. It was built in the 1960s by the Perugini family, who wanted a holiday home while using it as a chance to experiment with new architectural concepts. Geometric shapes were at the heart of the design, and there's no one common building material throughout. You can also access it via a bright red staircase that also functions as a drawbridge and ensures occupants can detach themselves from the outside world. With such a modular layout, it's often referred to as the unfinished home, and after its owner died in 1995, no one has known quite what to do with it. It has therefore, begun to fall apart and has now been taken over by nature. It's covered in newly grown trees and plants, and the occasional piece of graffiti from those who dared to venture inside. There are plans to one day reopen the space as an exhibition center, but the longer it takes for this to become a reality, the less likely that it is the structure will survive. Number 6. Mud House Mansion Built in Fairfield County, Ohio in the 1840s, Mudhouse Mansion became known as one of the most haunted houses in the area. It was said that following the Civil War, the owner of the house, who was a government official, still insisted on keeping slaves and kept them locked away in the cellar at night. One evening, so the story goes, one of the slaves escaped and killed the family, whose spirits now haunt the property. Other stories include that it was the origin point of the Bloody Mary curse, after a woman killed her husband and her children there, while others believe it was the site of decades of ritual human sacrifice. With increasing interest in the place, and the apparent difficulty with getting a good night's sleep, the last people to stay there left in the 1930s. And apart from some who snuck in to experience the tales for themselves, it has lain empty ever since. In 2015, work began to demolish the structure, and it's now entirely gone. But locals still claim that the spooky happenings still occur. Number 5. The Las Feliz House the Las Feliz House stands on a hilltop in Los Angeles, but because of its horrific past, no one has stayed a night there in more than 60 years. On one fateful night in 1959, the owner, Dr. Harold Perelson, had a manic episode that led him to murder his wife with a hammer, severely beat his 18-month daughter, and then take his own life with a deadly blend of acid and tranquilizer medication. After the scene was investigated by the police, people understandably didn't want to set foot in the place. The following year, a brave couple snapped up the property for a bargain price, but according to reports, they only took the opportunity 
so they could use the 5,050 square foot building as a storage location. They would arrive during the day with boxes, but would never stay the night. And even when they died and their son inherited the house, he too would never stay there or make any decorative or structural changes to the place. If you found yourself in possession of somewhere with such a storied history, do you think you'd ever sleep there? Number 4. Dome Homes in 1980, an oil producer called Bob Lee wanted to try his hand at architectural design, and the result was the amazing dome homes. They can be seen on the southernmost tip of Marco Island in Florida, but it seems his ideas were far ahead of their time. Each home is self-sufficient and are powered by solar panels, a surprising feature from something that was made by someone in the oil industry. After he passed away, the homes were completely forgotten about, and it was only several decades later that they were rediscovered. At first, people thought they were proof of an alien community, or a secret hideout for a cult, but as they were explored more fully, the truth came came to light. Now, after years of abandonment, they are being reclaimed by the ocean and are slowly submerging as every year goes by. It's thought that within 10 or 20 years, they'll be completely beneath the waves, which will make for a great surprise for people in the future if they ever come across them again. Number 3. Abandoned Mansion Mike Tyson Mike Tyson is one of the most renowned boxing superstars ever, and it's amazing to think that someone who grew up in such poverty would go on to amass a fortune of more than $400 million. After his first professional fight at the age of 18, he soon lifted himself to the pinnacle of the sport, and along with his wealth came an extremely extravagant lifestyle. He's known for having a pet tiger, countless cars, and even a $2 million bathtub. But one of his biggest purchases was a mansion in Southington, Ohio, which he chose because it was close by to the home of Don King. Covering an area of 13,500 square feet, it was the epitome of luxury. But he soon moved out in search of somewhere better. Instead of selling it, he allowed a local ministry to make use of it. But they too found it unfit for use. And ever since, it has remained empty, requiring many millions of dollars to make it habitable again. As a piece of boxing history, it's undoubtedly important. But as a home, you can definitely get something much better for the price. Number 2. Abandoned House of Bruce Lee Bruce Lee is regarded by many as being by far the most influential martial artist of all time and introduced a whole new film genre to the world. He was the first mainstream Asian actor to break Hollywood, but despite his fame, he remained humble to his core. He tragically died at the age of 32, in uncertain circumstances, but his legend continues on to this day. It's for this reason that his home in Kowloon, Hong Kong has been so revered ever since. Following his death, it was purchased by a wealthy tycoon who didn't want it as his own home, but to preserve the memory of its former owner. It became a museum and a shrine to Lee, but its future was put into doubt in 2010, when the new owner himself died. Lee's family wants it to remain a memorial to Bruce, but one thing's for sure, no one will ever live there again. Number 1. The Parthenon of El Negro Arturo El Negro Durazo Moreno rose through the ranks of the Mexican police force from a young age and became the chief of police in Mexico City between 1976 and 1982. As you can imagine, this was one of the most dangerous law enforcement roles in the world at the time, and he became known for the way he would bend the rules and see himself as being above the law. He requested he be made a five-star general, and would take bribes from the cartels to turn a blind eye to their drug enterprises. He turned the police force into a means for making money for himself, and had no qualms about splashing the cash. He built several large, extravagant mansions in which he, his family, and his mistresses would stay. Because of his involvement with both sides of the law, the homes were virtually high-security compounds with huge walls and permanent security around the multi-acre plots. Since his death, however, the houses have remained empty. There remain disputes about who owns them and whether anyone should be allowed to benefit from his ill-gotten gains. So, for now, they remain a testament to Mexico City's murky past. Which of these homes did you find to be the most impressive? And can you believe that their owners actually abandoned them? 
make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!